today we are going to talk about money. Money, 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 and the fear that comes with it. The massive amounts of fear. So today I had two people, two people cancel their appointment within seconds of before their appointments were going to start. This frustrated me. This made me feel disrespected. This was a difficult thing for me to come to terms with. But then I took a second. I took a second and I thought, well, what is my part in that? Why would I have two clients in a row actually cancel their appointments or not show up to their appointments right before their appointment? Because I was worried about money. I was thinking about how much money I needed for the beginning of next month. And I was calculating how much money was going out and how much money was coming in. And I started getting a little worried. And because I worried about how much money was coming in and how much money was going out, more money went out than came in. Because money is energy. Money is something actually that we've made up here. Money is something that doesn't actually exist in the real world. That's what goes off in my head. Money is a human made thing. We know, we know that because money hasn't always been with us. In one shape or another, it kind of has, but we were on a barter and trade at one point. So money itself has become an entity in and of itself and people worship it. People worship money as though money can give them everything they need in life. People worship money as though money needs to be paid homage to, like it is actually an achievable goal, like it is something we all should want and need and have. Well, yeah, we've set ourselves up completely and absolutely that way. In fact, actually, money seems to equal life for people. That if you are facing somebody trying to take your money away, whether it be through a traffic fine, whether it be through a bill that you weren't expecting, whether it be through a bill you were expecting, whether it be anything at all to let go of our money without knowing that we're going to get something back for it is freaky, especially when we have already gotten the thing and now we owe the money for it. Oh my gosh, credit cards. So what do you do? How do you let go of this like freaky money energy? It's an uphill battle. It's a constant movement. It is a constant thing that you have to balance within yourself. It's not that money means nothing because it actually does. We actually need money to feed ourselves, to house ourselves and to clothe ourselves. We need money for those things, but making the money, the end all be all of everything you do will actually drive money away from you. I know it seems odd, but it's actually true. Money is an energy. And when that energy feels you fearing it, it will be repelled. That doesn't mean you should love money. <laughs> that means you should love yourself without the money. That the money actually should be the superfluous thing on the other end of it. That actually achieving the monetary goal that you're looking for shouldn't have anything to do with the monetary goal. It should actually have to do with your personal power. It should actually have to do with what you do for others. Letting go of money fears can be daunting <laughs> to say the least because nothing in our society tells you that you should. Everything around you tells you that you should be worried about how much money you have. Everything around you tells you that you should be worried about how much weight is on your body. Everything around you tells you to fear because those things that are around you want you to fear. And by that I mean the larger corporations who want your money. And by that I mean the social media stuff that we put out there actually under the guise of these larger corporations. Stop letting them win. You don't need 
need all the money in the world. In fact, all you need is to feed yourself, house yourself, and clothe yourself. That's actually all you need. All the rest of the money is just superfluous. Yeah, we need money. I have three kids in college. I need money for that. But it's actually not me worrying about how much money I have to give my children who are away at university. It actually should be me wanting to make sure that my children who are away at university are safe, grounded, and secure. That's your root chakra. Your Your root chakra is your money chakra. It is your base chakra. It is the base of all of us really from, <laughs> it's funny too, because it goes from your tailbone down to your toes. It actually is a little bit in the reproductive area, but not like sacral chakra is in the reproductive area, but I can see the connection with the reproductive area with the money because uh, that is the most sensitive area of all of our bodies. That's the area that we need to and should be protecting kind of the most. So that's what we do with money. And moving into your root chakra and moving into your security with this outside human made source, money, one has to actually believe that they have all the money they need. You may not have it in your bank account right this minute. It may not be in the mattress underneath your head, but you have all the money you need for right now for everything you need. And anything that does come up, money will be provided for because money isn't real. Because money isn't real, you can make it go away and you can make it come back. It's an energy, just like happy feelings. If you concentrate on your happy feelings and only concentrate on your happy feelings, then those happy feelings will come to you. If you concentrate on not having the things that you think are going to make you happy, those happy feelings aren't going to come to you because you're concentrating your energy on what doesn't make you happy. Money is the same. If you think about money as something that somebody else has, if you think about money as the root of all evil, if you think about money as something that isn't coming to you, it won't. If you think of it as something somebody else has, they will. If you see money, as just one of the parts of the things that we use to get along in this world, then actually you may have all you need. If you also see money as something fun, something that can go through your hands and out towards others to help build others, to help move the economy, to help others feed, clothe, and house themselves as well, then more money will come to you because money isn't evil. Money isn't elusive. Money isn't real. You see it as something that is real. You give it those human like properties. So therefore it acts in that way for you. If you can change the way you look at it, if you can change the way you feel about it, then you might be able to change your relationship with it. One of the ways that I actually attract more money into my life is to actually open my root chakra and then take the root chakra energy that I have built in this beautiful red pool of money that I'm sitting in and I ribbon it up through all the rest of my chakras up into my crown. When I get it to my crown, and I did learn this from Sanaya Roman in Creating Money, a book that she has written, it's over there. <laughs> I allow a tree to grow out of the crown of my head. On that tree, money grows like leaves. Those leaves fall into my lap. So money comes into my lap. And for the longest time in my meditation, my children would come out of nowhere and take all the money away, which they still do, but that's fine because it's for them. Because the money I make is so that I can feed, clothe, and house myself, but also spend on the people I love. Actually make other people happy because that's what I like to do. Isn't that what you like to do? <laughs> 
Let go of your money worries so money doesn't let go of you. <laughs>